Hey guys, so today I'm going to be filming a full face of makeup with my opposite hand. <gasps> Mum, oh she doesn't like my wooden floor. Here we go. Oh. Wanna film a video? Okay, you can get off my hair. Thank you. I'll probably <laughs> So what was I saying? I think I was saying that um, I'm going to be doing, oh she's gone to sleep, look at that. Today I'm going to be doing a full face of makeup using my opposite hand. So I'm going to be doing everything with my right hand instead of my left. And we'll see what happens. I think I'll do it all right at this because I do a lot of things right handed anyway. I do apply my makeup with my left hand. Obviously, the first thing I'm going to do is foundation. I'm using the foundation I always use, my Maybelline Superstay 24 hour. And I'm going to be using um, the Makeup Revolution. This was limited edition two Christmases ago. I think this is called the powder brush. Um, I use it for foundation now. So I'm just gonna quickly do that. And while I'm doing that, I'll probably also apply concealer. And I'm gonna be using the collection Lasting Perfection. My Makeup Revolution one has ran out. It ran out really quickly and I'm really struggling to, to find it in stores. I have so far been to three different super drugs, one at the Gale, one at Ocean Terminal, one somewhere else. Didn't have them in anywhere. So I'm still in the hunt, but this will do for now. So half ten, so I'm gonna try to do this as quick as possible. <sighs> I've been doing it with my left hand. I completely forgot we were doing this. Right, I'm gonna carry on with my right hand. This, doing it with my right hand, it feels all right. Like I can still blend it. It just feels like odd. I don't know how to hold the brush. I feel like I'm a bit like doing this with my hands, I'm a bit cat candid. I reckon I could do my makeup without a mirror, you know? Because my mirror is over my mirror is over here and I feel like I'd I'd be alright at doing my makeup without a mirror. I'd be definitely alright doing the base. I would just maybe struggle coming to like eyebrows and eyelashes and stuff, but I reckon I'd do alright at that. Oh, I really like the way my skin's looking right now. Looks quite nice. How have I already been filming for eight minutes? This is ridiculous. Next, I'm going to be doing powder. This is actually brand new. I haven't used this yet. It's the Rimmel London Match Perfection Loose Powder. I've heard amazing things about this powder and I really wanted a loose powder which didn't give me flashback. I use this to sort of press it in in a triangle under my eyes so I bring it down onto my cheek and then up. I do that on both sides and then I also do it on my chin so it's not if I just do it with a powder brush I feel like it more sits on top of your skin so this really pushes the product into your skin and makes it stay there and then I just use my normal brush for the rest of my face but I do like using these to press the product into my skin. It's fine to doing it this way. <coughs> makes under your eyes look a lot more airbrushed and flawless um, and of course it does make the product last longer recommend trying it and then I'm just gonna use my normal powder brush for the rest of my face oh it really feels like I'm jabbing it on my face like I feel like I don't have any control over the brush oh I think I'm gonna I feel like I'm gonna do skin first I'm just let my dog go. Drown down. Drown down. down, monkey. Yeah? Are we just gonna just gonna stay here? Are we just gonna stay here? Hmm? Oh, you're smiling. Are you smiling? That is cute. You got Oh, my puppy, my puppy, hello. Go on, you're on down. You're gonna stay with me. No, you're gonna stay. Okay then. She's gonna stay. She's gonna stay. Aren't you? Smiling. Smiling, smiling. Smiling monkey. Okay. So I'm gonna go on to skin. And I'm gonna be using 
And a little um, Revolution little trio I always use. Oh. Nor the hoovering. <laughs> and I'm just gonna bronze up my face first with the Revolution um, angled contour brush, I think it's called. This, by the way, is the Real Techniques Flush Brush. I don't think it looks too bad at this side, but this side, because I'm like leaning over, I feel like I've got less control and I've just put it like all the way over my cheek. So, like, my wrist is really hurting. <laughs> and I don't know why. Maybe because I'm not used to using it, I don't know. But it's really hurting. I'm gonna move on to blush. Um, Real Techniques blush brush. Same little trio. Here we go. Lovely. So now I'm using the Spectrum A10 brush. Um, these brushes are beautiful. And I'm just going to use a highlighter in here. The only thing I'm not a big fan, like, it's really soft and everything. It's just quite thin. So I feel like it doesn't pick up as much product and I really have to build up more. I like done. Can't really see it on camera because I'm sitting in a place um, where the sun isn't hitting me. Well, I'm going to do eyebrows. This is probably the bit I'm most scared of because so far this makeup is looking quite good. And I am considering wearing this out for the day. I just, I'm scared about the eyebrows. I finished it on in the camera and in real life, I'm not even gonna kid myself. It looks crazy, like chunky and blocky. I'm gonna go get a little brush, use the concealer, see if I can tidy it up a bit because I actually want this makeup, makeup look to look good. Bye, say bye. Oh. Oh, puppy, 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 puppy. Man, I know you went down. Say bye, though. Bye. She's leaving. Bye. I know you went down, baby. Eyebrows. They are completely uneven. This one's curved. This one's like a box. I tried to neaten them up with concealer. They look horrific. Let's move on to eyeshadow. I'm going to be using my Urban Decay Naked Heat Palette. And I'm going to try and make quite a simple look out of this just using a couple of shades. Um, of course, I'm doing it with my wrong hand. I used the Wonder 2 eyebrow brush, but I'm going to be using the Spectrum B6 brush. Makeup Revolution. I don't know what this was called. Small Blender brush. And the Urban Decay brush that comes with this palette. I really, really like this brush. So I'm going to start by putting Sauce and Low Blow in my crease. crease. These are the two more browny transition shades. I'm going to be mixing them and putting them in my crease. And so I had sort of the look that I wanted to do planned out in my head. But I think I'm going to change my mind of what I was going to do. And I'm now going to put Cayenne, which is a sort of, which is a sort of ready brown colour, this one here. And I'm going to, again, blend that through my crease, but I'm going to focus more on the outer corner. And I'm just going to blend everything together and make sure everything's blended with a bit of Chaser, which is a light sort of brownish colour. And then I'm going to use a little bit of Infego right in my outer corner. Just a tiny bit. Oh, no hand. Just a tiny bit. And then lastly, for a little bit of shimmer on the lid, I'm going to take my finger and put a bit of Lumbra, which is this peachy pink shade, all over my lid. 
I'm just going to put a bit of mascara on. I'm not going to put too much on because I really do need to be quick. I've got like three minutes until I'm leaving. I shouldn't be doing her because I quite often do it with this hand for this eye. I'm using my L'Oreal Miss Baby Roll. My mascara done and lastly we've got lips. I'm going to be using the Collection um, lipstick in the shade Rosewood, 21 Rosewood. Lovely. I feel very glam. Oh my goodness. Oh, I haven't done something, I haven't done a look like this in ages. Anyway, this is a full face of makeup with my right hand, so my opposite hand. And I'm really pleasantly surprised with how this turns out. I might need to do a bit more eyeshadow blending and I might need to fix my eyebrows, but I am going to keep this on for the rest of the day. I'm really, really happy with the way my skin went. I think it looks really nice. My eyebrows are all right. The eyeshadow, I did not think I was going to be able to do. At first, I really couldn't blend it really like, I couldn't do it, it my brain didn't work. But the more I did it, um, the easier it got. Mascara was fine because I quite often do mascara with this hand anyway. And lips, the cupid's bow, um, went a bit wonky at first but I did fix it. And I think everything went all right. So this is my finished look. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Comment down below how you think I did. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I'll see y'all next time. Bye!